Hey guys, it's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Leo right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Leos out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings. That's in the description box below, um, along with everything else you need to know about these readings. Um, love readings could resonate in the workplace. Uh, your best friend relationships, your family relationships, okay? They don't always have to be romanticized, but we'll see what's going on with Virgo. Time is fluid, energy can be reversed, all that good stuff. What's going on? Oh, did I say Virgo? Leo. What's going on with Leo? Spy. Watching, investigating. Is someone spying on you, Leo, or you could be doing this, right? Closed off guarded resistance. All right. So whoever is spying knows that they have to spy because uh, someone is closed off here. Someone is not giving anyone attention. Okay. Leo. What's going on with Leo? All right. So we have lack, doubts, fears. I just heard fears. Um, they're spying and now they're starting to realize that they... They're starting to realize that maybe someone has attraction for someone else here, Leo, or that, you know, they're so attracted to you, but maybe you have moved on. Someone is in someone's energy here using control tactics. It's like really bad here. What's going on here with Leo? Okay, the attraction came out once again. Yeah, look, third party, external influences, other people involved. Receive, open. Hmm. What is this? Someone's insecurities are triggered? What's going on with Leo? Hmm. Celebration, gifts, abundance. Someone is watching someone like really have the time of their life right now and they are so triggered by it. And they're just noticing. They're just watching them, keeping an eye on them. And... <laughs> What's going on here? What is going on? I'm so glad I didn't restart this video. All right, so we have avoidance, stalemate, uh, transcendence, unity, fate, detours, divine intervention with soul ties, reunion. All right, so I feel like someone here, integration, union. What's going on here? So I feel like this person really wants to like, I'm getting a vibe of someone like trying to bump into you in public. Like, what's going on here, Leo? Someone's trying to bump into you on pub in public, or or trying to put off that energy of being in your energy, right? But I feel like you're avoiding them. Clarify, feet. Yeah, you're gonna end up. Yeah, you're gonna end up <laughs> coming together with someone here. It's gonna be faded. Whatever, however they plan on doing it is definitely gonna be faded. They're watching you. I'm also getting a story about a third party, maybe watching them watch you because I was getting a vibe of like other people. Um, with decisions here at the bottom, that was like, yeah, someone maybe made the wrong decision. Maybe decisions is what kind of makes this person freeze up is the word I want to say or they avoid making decisions but someone's going to have to integrate. The union card also means, you know, coming together within yourself, you know, balancing your shadow and your light side without uh, generating karma, you know what I mean? Because not everyone is perfect, right? So just learn how to integrate it, right? But um, maybe this person had a hard time doing that. What else would we do? So we have Mercury, messages, travel, communication, healing, inner child. So this person's the type of person that likes to, um, I feel like they, when they feel bad about something, they go back to something, they, they go back to someone and they send them messages and it heals their inner child. It's like these messages, they, they speak through messages to a person or something like that. This is this message is only for some of you here. But it something triggers their inner child because they can see it when they look in the mirror. Something like that. 
I don't know. But that's the energy we have. But someone feels fear. Or not really fear. They just feel like a doubting. They, get, they just have a doubting energy around them about maybe approaching someone. And a third party could be involved here for you, Leo. Alright, let's see what's going on for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so we have the Empress. Ooh, the Two of Pentacles here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I'm grabbing from the top. We have the Six of Cups. And the Ten of Swords here. So, someone is ending something from their past and moving on to something committed. Is that what I'm seeing? We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. That can't be the same person, so... Also, it does give me a vibe of, of two women being pregnant. But at the same time, it's like... One of them is more respected than the other. Okay. We have the Page of Wands here at the bottom. Someone is juggling between their past and their future. That's what I see here, Leo. It's what I see. We have the Six of Cups here. There could be children involved. Memories involved here. We have the Ten of Swords. But someone's like still turning their back. To Moving on to something committed. It could be like a new job. It doesn't necessarily have to be a new relationship. But they're definitely moving on from things. And definitely growing on their own. This could be you doing this, Leo. This could be a feminine energy doing this. Alright, so clarify the Empress for Leo. Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the World card. Oh, wow. Alright, clarify the World card for Leo. So there's a third party involved. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. It was about money. But I feel like you're going to be moving on to something committed here with the World card and the Ten of Pentacles. That gives me like jackpot energy. Starting something brand new. I feel like you have, you know, you've had feelings for a person, but you ended up getting hurt. So it's like, you're just going to move on. You have new love here. It's like you have new love right after you get hurt. And you just elevate into the Empress is what I'm getting here, Leo. We have the Two of Pentacles here for Leo. Someone rising Venus sign. Like we have the devil, the knight of cups, and the eight of swords. Someone here is like juggling between someone here is juggling between their codependency energy and like they are stuck in it. Like it's like what the heck is going on with it? something's going on with this person here. They're stuck in their addictions. They want to apologize, but they're coming back. It's like they could be sending you a drunk mess a drunk text message with the with the devil here, the knight of cups, and the eight of swords. It's like they have fear about coming towards you. It's like they have this push and pull energy here. And, you know, that devil card can also represent fears, too. It's like, you know, the things, the dark thoughts in their mind that keeps them from moving forward, you know. Eight of Swords, please, for Leo. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, too. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. Someone is like... Either they're denying the truth here or they're afraid to move forward to something new and stable, a new idea, a new different, a new mindset, a clear mindset is what I just heard. They're afraid to move to a clear mindset. That's why they can't commit. Is that what it is? All right. So why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles for Leo. I think it may be talk like it with the Knight of Cups, but you know... Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't do that. We have the Nine of Cups, the Hangman, and the High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, yeah, so I feel like you could be moving on either to a Pisces, or I feel like you you start to see something as a, as a new perspective. Hold on. Why is this Hangman here? For Pisces or for Leo, I'm calling you guys Pisces. You guys could really be dealing with a Pisces. So you have the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Lover. Someone is like fighting for their love here. 
fighting for the person that they want. It's like they're still going to do things to be selfish here. I feel like you followed your intuition about this person. I feel like you could be moving on. And it's like you could be... They choose you, but maybe you're just moving on to something else here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Leo? Queen of Pentacles for Leo. Or this third party is just going off right now. We have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Queen of Cups, Six of Cups, Six of Wands. This person here, they have feelings for you and everything, but it's like they... They got betrayed by someone here. Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo? Page of Cups and the Emperor. Oh, they really think that they can actually just come in and unapologize to you out of nowhere. But I feel like you, you know about this person already. You're already following everything that this person is doing. I feel like you've just been hanging around and, you know, seeing how far this person can go. Like, you're not exactly... I feel like when that spy card came out for you guys, you guys are both spying on each other, too. But, like, they're doing it in a way where, like, they're trying to, you know, antagonize you. You're doing it in a way like, yeah, I see you. I see you. High Priestess and the Hangman. I'm going to pretend like I'm, I don't see you. I'm, I'm going to pretend that I'm hanging upside down and I don't know what to do with my life. But I'm really, I really know everything that you're doing. So, we have the Six of Cups here. Gives me a vibe of memories, too. Why is this here for Leo? Why is the Six of Cups here for Leo? Three of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles and the Star. This person is, like, still waiting on you. But you're, but you're healing. It's like... This person looks back at their past, too, and it, it like, makes them want to be serious about things. But at the same time, it's like... Why is the Star here for Leo? They really want to heal things with you and get away from this third party, though. That's what I see. I don't feel like they're paying attention to the third party at all. However, they feel... Even if the third party wasn't involved, this person is always stuck. You know what I mean? Stuck like a duck. We have the King of Swords here with the Star card. Yeah, it's like they... They're stuck when it comes to healing. They're too uppity when it comes to healing. Yeah, I really get the vibe from this person that they have like trouble healing or like they have trouble with the truth. They have they like have their own truth. That's what the King of Swords gives me a vibe of. But we have the King of Swords here out here with the devil and the Emperor. So it's like their way or the highway, you know, they have their own truth, right? So why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? My ears are popping, so, like, I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm just trying to get these messages out. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like it's, like, it's giving me that vibe of you being, you're weighing your options, you're being very careful, but, like, you're really happy and you're stable, right? This person, I don't think they're careful. I feel like they have this you know, this dominating uh, energy about them. They have to be control, in control of everything, even if, you know, the truth is right in front of their face. All right, so why is the Seven of Cups here for Leo? Whatever truth that is for you guys, look, we have the Wheel of Fortune, look, the Five of Swords and the Eight of Wands and the Strength card. It's like they, they have a Five of Swords, jealous, envious, you know, competition, one-upping energy towards a change here, a fast change too, and it's something that was, it's something that had to do off off of pure strength, off of you, from you. I feel like you healed really fast from something here, Leo, and it's like you, it's like this person is just. Either they, they can't deal with the fact that... Here's the thing. They're in their toxic low vibrational energy here. Someone is in some sort of low vibrational energy or they deal with low vibrational people or they're just the type of person to like have things their way and you're a whole different type of energy. Like, like I'm smarter than you. So, yeah, fertility. You can't have 
a world without women, no matter how much men don't like it. And I feel like this guy has this, or, you know, this masculine energy has this uh, energy. Like, look, heartbroken and lost. They lost their feminine energy here. Either someone has lost all of their feminine energy within themselves, or someone actually, an emperor has also um, lost their feminine. We have hope here. Okay. What's going on with Leo? Look, partnerships and alliances. Virgo also got that. So, like, there is hope for, you know, something new for you guys, if, if that's what you're wondering. Look, there's the Emperor. Right behind the Empress. This person's, like, either trying to control you or own you in some sort of way, or they just have that energy of trying to own people, right? And... You don't like that. You don't want someone to possess you. Look, we have conflict and defeat. It's just not working with you right now, Leo. Let's get some more energy, and then I'll get some goddess cards. What's going on with Leo? This person is conflicted because of the past. They have feelings because of the past. Look, we have suffering and silence and intuition. Your intuition is so on point that it's causing this person to go completely insane. Conflict and defeat. It's like they're coming off, you know, I don't want to call them weak, but... Um, they're definitely knocked off of their high horse because your intuition is on point you know you know what's going on leo all right let's see what's going on with leo all right so we have i'll put these back so we have mary magdalene Unconditional love, love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. That's what this person has a problem with doing. Like, they can't, they love people for their looks, they love people for what they can do for them, and that's it. They, you know, and I feel like that's how people love this person, too, so they have to deal with that in some sort of way. Um, Goddess Yamanya. Golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Alright. What else for Leo? I feel like you guys are getting some sort of wish fulfillment. Right? You're going to be getting, you know, yeah, vast. Independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So, staying independent is what's throwing this person off. Because they feel like, you know, you shouldn't be independent or something like that. Like, this person has some sort of, you know, narcissist complex, some, some sort of misogyny. Look, we have Green Terra. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So that's like, this person has a hard time, you know, asking for help from, you know, from the gods, from, you know, anybody, really. And if you're having this problem, don't be afraid to ask for help, right? We have Kali endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So I feel like for most of you, uh, Leo, this situation here has definitely forced itself closed because of this person's actions. I feel like the way this person is moving right now is causing an ending because, you know, the universe is, isn't allowing it anymore. And they're just telling you how to move through life. You're good. You have to move through life. Compassion for others. Unconditional love. Be optimistic about your golden opportunities because you have one right in your face, right? Um, and you're going to be in this energy of being very independent here. So, um, I hope this resonated for you guys, Leo. Go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel if it does. Alright, thanks. See you next.